Hello everyone, this is Venus Brown here, back with another episode of The Crown. This is the final season, the first episode called Persona Non Grata. Now I'm pretty sure Persona Non Grata is Princess Diana. At least the first half of the season will probably delve a lot into those final years of Princess Diana's life and the aftermath of her divorce. Originally, I thought that she was actually with Dodie for a couple years, but last I heard it was actually only a couple months. That wasn't something I had any clue about. And then she died. So it sounds like it really wasn't that long after that last episode of season five. I don't know how much of the queen will be on here. I suspect there will be a lot less of the queen in the first half than there will the second half of the season. We should be getting some new actors for Prince Harry and Prince William, and also new actresses for their partners. At what point? I don't know when we'll see their partners, but at some point in the season. All right, so let's start the show. Bon, bah, tu te décides ou pas, là? D'abord, tu veux sortir, ensuite, tu veux pas sortir, non? <laughs> tu veux faire pipi, tu veux pas faire pipi? Mm-hmm. I agree. <laughs> My dog would go out and come in and go out and come in. Just because. Are they seriously already doing it? There was an accident in the tunnel. I think it's grave. Okay, I really did not expect them to just start right off at the beginning with this. Was it ready for it? Oh, it's time for the intro. And this is the introduction to The Crown, Season 6. Remember, if you like this content, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done it already and you'd like, please click the subscribe button. You can click the little bell and click all if you want more content notifications. It's all up to you. You decide what you want to do. And here it comes. The Crown. Is Diana even coming? Tony Blair, Sheriff of Downing. <laughs> you in, Catherine? Nikki? Future King has come for a play date. Future King has come for a play date. I hear you had a visit from Princess Diana. We had a nice game of five side. That's football. <laughs> she feels strongly that she still has a lot to offer the country as a public servant. When Diana talks, the world listens. Hard to be half in anything. You're either in or out. You yourself will know the difference of being in government. So alienate the girl that already felt alienated, already had mental health Come problems, on. keep contributing to them. Who are you wrestling in your sleep? Beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder how old Harry is supposed to be at this point. <laughs> Just Princess Margaret is confirmed so far. Diana and I have been divorced for a year, separated for five. The time, darling, is now. So divorce for one year, separated for five. I'll have to go back just to see how far in it was. I think they had just gotten divorced. One year from the period they got divorced. And it looks like eight weeks before her accident. Now, does that mean her and Dodie were seeing each other longer than a couple months? I mean, at the end of the last season, they hadn't even gotten together yet. So I couldn't really make a judgment off that. And I have not looked at the internet or anything to try to find out exactly when those things occurred. <laughs> There's a business emergency. But when daddy says jump. Don't be like that. It's true though, isn't it? They like this music. Use it so often. 
mouth. Never mind. The Prince of Wales, Your Majesty. This one's having a bit of trouble. She won't drink. Back to when Anne and I were presented to you and Papa. And then at the end of the day, bathed and ready for bed. Best two moments of the day. Was it? Yes. <laughs> Are you coming? I'm going to be in Derbyshire. Oh, can I check? Why would you do that? If it's on a Saturday, then you could stay at Highgrove. She will never be fully embraced by the public until she has your approval. Sure, she's very nice. Yeah, rather it's more. PR issue. Two perfectly good marriages, two perfectly happy families have been broken up by this. Would it love, call mommy, them love? perfectly good? Charles does not like being sidelined, but hopefully he'll be a mature grown up about it this time. Shows that two thirds of all respondents now accept the relationship and believe you should be free to marry. So I wonder if they go back and forth on the timeline. Right after the divorce, a year after the divorce, eight weeks before the accident, because the last episode, it seemed like all this stuff was being planned also. And they had just gotten divorced. I do you love those flowers? Are they Bougainville? <laughs> Sadly, I have some work to do, but I can leave you in Dodi's hands. He is much more fun than me. <laughs> Don't you love being Excuse daddy's me, little pawn? Daddy of the Year Award does not go to him. Well, who wants to go swimming? <laughs> Did the emergency involve Princess Diana? <laughs> Because it is all over the news today that she's in Saint Tropez with your father. Yeah. Uh, Why don't I come by? We could have fun together too. <laughs> I just got booked for an assignment in Nice next week. It makes sense for me to come by and see my fiance. And Daddy will see it, and he'll be on his case the whole time. So is he gonna sabotage his plans, or? Okay. If you want, come whenever you like. I've gotta go. Probably a combination of him and his dad sabotaging the whole thing. How long are you going to hide in there for? Until those photographers go away. Having a lovely time apart from one little thing, you lot. Come on, don't be like that. Love us really. Seriously, how long are we going to have the pleasure of your company? Is the attention starting to freak out the boys? I'll tell you what, <laughs> you leave me and my boys alone, and you're going to get a big surprise with the next thing I do. Oh, I will start. <laughs> Now, I definitely noticed that in real life footage, she did sometimes go to the news reporters and paparazzi and tell them to cool their jets. So at least some of that appears to kind of parallel with real life. But we all know that a lot of the crown is not necessarily what really happened. At least we should. If you've watched the crown and you think that it is true to life, what actually happened, many things in the crown did not happen or did not happen the way the show presented. Many things did, but many things didn't. So don't think that because it was on the crown, it was true to life. That's not necessarily true. You have to actually look it up and find out the real information in order to figure out if that's what actually happened. Unless you actually recall from that time. Back to the show. Now, did they have the decency to leave? Or did they just stick around for more? Ooh, I like that dress. Nice, classy, deep purple. Just say how wonderful it is to see you all here. Particularly, I want to thank my darling aunt, Mrs. Margaret, and uh, Camilla's father, Major Shan. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're all here to celebrate a person I can't bear to be without. <laughs> There have been many people out there who've been quite staggeringly unkind and unfair. The understandable thing would have been to walk away, but you haven't. You've stuck with it. And you've stuck with me. Join me in toasting the birthday girl. He's done it beautifully. The house is gorgeous. Entirely himself. Is that what this telephone call is about? <laughs> Are you saying I should have been there? To show support for your son would be no bad thing. <laughs> because he will be king one day, and we want our kings and queens to be happy. Mm -hmm. You don't think it's time for this discrimination to end? For us all to accept she is the love of his life? Has been since the beginning. <sighs> Momentum is with us, you said. It was a resounding success, yeah. Really, we, we have a <laughs> slew of favorable front pages, and, and for the first time in editorials, Camilla is being spoken of as a potential queen. I want positive coverage of Mrs. Parker Bowles to be glaringly, screamingly obvious. Mm. 
Yeah, this ought to go well. <laughs> Alright, I imagine she's just not gonna be able to put up with this shit. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to put up with it. I'd be like, this has to end. Your dad can't accept me, and you have to keep tiptoeing around me whenever you're around your dad. I just wouldn't be able to put up with it. But, you know, it was a recipe for disaster in the first place. You! Let's go! Let's go, go! Where have you been? I've been calling you. We have so little time together. I leave tomorrow. Been on your own with her? And the kids. The most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> is everything all right? Is he gonna be honest with her? Fine, it's complicated. <laughs> I have a fiance. Congratulations. Where is she now? <laughs> Tell her. Right there. He won't let her anywhere near this one. Been going back and forth without your father knowing. Oh, he found out and went. <laughs> and then she found out and went. <laughs> You're lucky to have a father who cares. <laughs> I barely noticed if I was coming or going. Sounds perfect. <laughs> Grass is Come always green. Around. Around. It's all a delusion. I wrote to him every week from boarding school, baked him cakes, even married the Prince of Wales. Anything to make him notice me. And to think our fathers are such good friends. I've used a bit of your father's care and concern. Obsessive control. The wedding? Three weeks? It suddenly all seems a little crazy. I think that's normal, though. To have last-minute nerves. I did. Night before my wedding, I knew it was going to be a disaster. <laughs> we have Jumanji. Never-ending story? No. E.T.? Too sad. Honey, I shrunk the kids? No. Jumanji did go. I always like never-ending story. <laughs> Of course, Robin Williams is good too. So is he falling for her? It's like hard to say what's going to cause the tipping point. Her getting upset, his dad being a dickhead, him being the flaws in his relationship and falling for Diana. Uh, Any other number of things? Uh, How was the 50th birthday? Sorry you had rain. Well, if it did, I didn't think anybody noticed. <laughs> Happy to hear that. And I just wanted to say, I'm happy. You're so manifestly happy. happy. <laughs> Are they both noticing that she's like providing a little bit of approval? You'll be on your own for the rest of the summer? I don't like the sound of that. That's mostly how it is these days. You're always welcome here. Fiance is a lucky girl. <laughs> yeah, he's wow. sounding more questioning every time. from him or his dad yes, next week oh, is this what that scene in the trailer was about she said you know that she was like coming and going here and there or something like that all right that's the end of episode one for season six i think we're really seeing the deterioration of that relationship with dody and his fiance obviously didn't last i am glad that when they started with diana's accident that they went back and kind of stepped away from it because that was not something that i was ready for on the first episode really like a little bit of happiness first before you go and rip our hearts out i mean i know it's in the past but those memories are very real and the whole thing was so awful i think it hurt a lot of people since I didn't really look into it a lot when all of this happened, I do wonder Princess Diana dying kind of counteracted some of the effects of the PR that they were trying to use to get Camilla to be more accepted. Because I do remember for a long time people didn't want anything to do with Camilla. And Princess Diana, from what I remember, she was always well-liked. Whether she was marrying the prince, married to the prince, or divorced, She's really had that way with people, and people really liked her. It was a good episode. Don't know what to expect for the next episode. I hope they don't go too fast into the death. I mean, they already introduced us at the very beginning of the first episode. So, I'll see you next week. Bye.